Hey, it's Will with Strings in the Woods where we invite you to join us on a walk in nature where you can take a break from the intensity of the city life or modern life and reconnect with your true nature, which is a slower nature, more connected with nature. So today I'm showing the uh, Shoal Creek Trail right here. And this is the start of the Shoal Creek Trail that I recommend highly. And now somebody's so I'm going to take you on a quick little walk of the Shoal Creek Trail. Highly recommend it. This is on Shoal Creek, which was one of the dividing lines for the Comanches. On the west side was Comanche territory back in the 1800s. There's some interesting history along this creek. If you come on my walk on this creek for Strings in the Woods, all the dates are at stringsinthewoods.com. I'll tell you all about the history of this particular part. So come see us and here's a little bit of this walk. All right, we'll start walking down this way. Right against the beautiful cliffs, Shoal Creek. And there's some beautiful old growth oak trees and seating spots that you'll enjoy. So we come up here to a crossing on the left, go left there. Cross Shoal Creek here, beautiful rocks. And right over here on the left we have Austin's own Stonehenge is what I like to call a little theater area, more beautiful centuries old growth oak trees that have been here for so long. So you can continue on the path to the right. Just beyond this bridge is the remnants of an old bridge that used to exist in early Austin in the 1800s. Go under the bridge. After you come under this bridge, the more recent bridge, you'll see on the right a bridge that was used in the late 1800s for folks to cross Shoal Creek. And you'll come up to a section here which splits off. And just beyond here, there's some oaks that are known as the Cider Springs Oaks, where a family lived in the mid to late 1800s. This became a very popular spot for people to celebrate and get together and there were services that would bring people from South Austin and downtown town to this area called Cider Springs for entertainment and swimming. The spring has long since dried up, <clears throat> but these oaks tell stories and I hope you enjoy this short walk right here in Central Austin. So again, if you're looking to change your mood and get out into the wonderful nature we have here in Austin, Texas. I highly recommend coming on a Strings in the Woods walk. This is one of the places we visit. Check out stringsinthewoods.com. We look forward to changing your state of mind as soon as you sign up. Thanks a lot.